Hey there, welcome back to Voltage Productions. My name is Volton, and in this episode of Minecraft uh, Superflat, I revolutionized my entire economy and built probably, probably the most useless factory possible, but actually, I guess that would go to the uh, to Glowberry Farms. But basically, this basically revolutionizes my entire economy. Along the way, we also complete another goal I had for this episode. Want to know how I got here? Well, let's go back to when I actually started the recording. Hey everyone, my name is Volton, and welcome back to Minecraft Superflat. I just published episode 2 a few hours ago, and now I'm basically ready to continue recording now. In episode 3, we're mostly going to be in your world this time. Mostly. What do I mean by that? Because... I have a few things in mind for this episode. The first thing I have in mind is actually getting a beacon going. A full one. But you know, we're gonna have to go back to the nether for that. It's not like I just spent a little while building a goddamn nether hub. And then, and later on, we're gonna have to begin industrializing in this world because, you know, capitalism. But you know, we have a few things to do first. First of all, I don't know if y'all watch, actually watched episode 2, which, uh, by the way, if you have not watched it yet, then you should. It'll explain what happened to all my good enchantments. Anyway, yeah, since I no longer have any good enchantments, I need to start getting them back first. Gold helmet. Put it in here. <laughs> Everyone, a little update here. So currently, we notice something. There's these small little plant farms here. There's the thing. These farms suck ass. But look at them. They're tiny. Though, as far as I'm concerned, there's at least one of every plant in this village. Let's see, okay. There's wheat, potatoes, and carrots. And over at this one. And I'm pretty sure the other one, there's beets. Yep. So yeah, we have basically all the plants you can normally get all in one village. Sometimes you have to go really far for those. Which is actually really cool. One of the other things I was thinking of doing, wasn't sure about actually, was making a big old like plant field. I was originally thinking sort to the left, but now, according to my plans, there's going to be an iron farm there. Argentai Tower. That's what I'm calling it. Near my house, I think. Actually, I'm pretty sure the iron farm is going to be right here, I think. Let me check my plans again. Okay, so I just looked at the plans again. It's I think it's basically going to take up all the space over here. So I think it would make the most sense to put farmland, like, behind my house. So yeah, that's what I did. I just... I, I just planted the wheat part of it all. I will probably end up coming back to this later. It's a stupid idea, but I'm pretty stupid too, so who am I to talk, eh? Can't believe I'm going back in this direction. With this setup, after what happened in episode 2. Listen, I'm just going in to see if they have any more bone blocks. Okay, I want to get more space in the breeder, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my shovel, my glorious shovel, and I'm going to use it to go over here and start digging out an area here. Uh, hi, future Volton here. For some reason, I can't find the uh, footage of me getting the Wither Skeleton Skulls for the Wither, but I was able to get them. Boy, those suck to get. Anyway, then came the Wither fight. 
I was super underprepared. My gear was not up to a task, and it ended up taking me a while to actually finish. I am never doing this boss again. Before, at least not until I get more practice. God, this was embarrassing. Pause. It would appear that I lost footage at some point. But basically, all I did in that lost footage was tear down an ugly villager breeder that I was going to be building there. I have something much better in mind. I'll show you what it is later on. Hi. So I'm in my house right now, and uh, as you can see, I've had some furnaces behind me. Small problem. This is making my base look a tiny bit ugly. That's not okay. Having a slightly ugly base is not cool. And just before it was so perfect, just first crank table, first crank table, and just in the middle. Now it's just, just these here. I'm smelting a lot of smooth stone in them. You know what? I think just for like smelting stuff in general, I need a smelting room. Problem is, I don't have any room for one. I need this area to be pretty nice and open, just because I think that's kind of what gives this area its charm. I'm not- I can't really do it in here because, well, there's hardly any space. Again, this is my bedroom. And room across is my current storage. Which, as you can see, is very, uh... Well, I mean, it's... It's something. I'll, uh, I'll word it like, uh... I'll word it like that. Where else is there to expand? Hmm, well, maybe to the left, maybe to the right? No, no, no can't. My base plants are in- are currently lie where I could make a potential house expansion. And that's no- not, that's not cool. I could go up, but I like being able to see the sky here. So I think the only place I can really go now is down. And that's what I did. I, uh, I dug out a basement. Currently, there's only one room, that being the smelting room. And you know what, I'm not sure if I even will be expanding the basement again for a while. Since, again, because of the base plans. But still. It was nice to actually do a little house expansion, since it's remained pretty much unchanged since episode 1. So yeah, up updating the house was nice. If you're wondering about this, by the way, I don't really need it. I don't think I really ever will, so... Yeah, and now we can begin. Uh, yeah, alright, not really begin, but still finishing up the floor. <laughs> and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on placing all the slabs needed for this roof. And I have no more slabs. You know, I could continue, uh, I could get more, like, very easily just right now. But the thing is, like, it's really late here. And, like I probably said earlier in the video by now, but high school is starting back up soon. I'm gonna be entering my sophomore year. So yeah, I'm gonna be entering my sophomore year in a few days as of recording this. So I'm not gonna have as much time to record. And you know what? I need to get a better sleep schedule. So yeah, I'm gonna stop recording now, but you know what, at least I made something significant. You know what, whatever, it's probably fine. I'll, I'll probably live stream building in this world, just so that way you guys actually feel like a connection of sorts. I had a lot of fun live streaming previously, so I think live stream again would also be really fun. Okay, I just went through my footage, and I did find a clip of the old villager weird I was working on. You can probably see why it didn't get anywhere. That uh, yeah, the things the thing does not fit at all. So you can probably see why I tore it down. Hi, it's me again. So yeah. The new breeder, which is now a bunker, is almost complete. So it's kind of got this entrance, I don't think it needs anything more. It also has jungle stairs because I don't have any spruce. Which I would love to use for this. 
Okay, I reloaded the world earlier. And... Yeah, I, I had to block this up with just the most random shit I could find. But now, all the villagers have been moved to the new reader. Except for two. I, I had to, uh... Well, let's just say two had to be dealt with privately. Yeah. Oh yeah, I also... I also fully finished the beacon. So now I can get haste too, which means I can insta-mine stone. Not deep sight though. Got rid of the old breeder. You can definitely tell where it once was. But you know what? I'm just glad it's not here anymore. I'm not sure why this is here. Hello, villagers. I know, I'm your favorite. Hey, I also moved. Uh, move you, you guys, please. Thank you. Also. Oh, oh, shit! No, you are not going out there. Yeah, you see, this has been a very annoying process. Move! These villagers are so annoying. Anyway, yeah, I've moved some of these guys' uh, workstations into the wall itself. By that, I mean just the fishermen. Because it adds uh, detail and stuff to the wall. I'm also noticing that we're not we're technically not done still since I don't like this weird corner here. So what I'm thinking is I get like a chisel deep slate and then I just move it running up the sides there. Hoping it'll only take like I think like a stack at most of a chisel deep slate. So we now got it basically done. For the most part. I need to add in some oh okay, everyone's sleeping. That actually makes my life easier. Oh oh god, I forgot I can insta mine now. So yeah, I didn't really show the design process for this uh, part of the video that much earlier. But basically what I do is I made the walls out of stone. Then I go in and take out some of the stone blocks and fill them in with stone bricks. Just add a little bit more texture. Yeah, I fill in the deep slate there now, and boom. This part of the wall is basically complete. They have no idea that the have to escape was temporarily opened up. And you know what? They probably never will. They'll live their entire lives thinking that there was never a way out. You know, while this place was under construction with them inside, there was for a few seconds a way to get out of here. But now, they will never know. Anyway, I'm not going to put any chisel deep slate here or there. Just because there's no barrels there. As such, it's not needed. Okay, I think that's... Okay, yeah, I'm going to move this. I see the villagers have already been breeding while I've been away. And no, you don't need an automatic one, those are for nerd. Anyways, this place is almost done, but the last thing we need to do, and before the villagers wake up, is just kind of just begin like making like dot, dots around the walls. What the hell is happening up there? And just fill them in with. Okay, I'm not. What is happening above? Anyway, we now have the breeder finally finished. As such, that marks off the first goal for this video. The next one is going to be build an iron farm, which is part reason why I'm doing it in this order. Hi, Future Bolton here. Just say so you no, know, both attempts I made at making an iron farm failed miserably. I tried making a more normal one, but the zombie died, and I just kind of gave up with villagers because, uh, well, uh. He comes back over to reclaim it. However, it vanished yet again! This time, he was not interested and wandered off. But, it reappeared. How? How is this possible? How is this buffoonery possible? Who knows? But, it kept reappearing and vanishing. However, 
His brain is slower than a snail. Like, seriously, really fucking slow. Yeah, I kind of went a bit insane. I started becoming British. Yeah, that's how you know it got bad. Then I tried making a more simplified and half-assed one. I didn't really think it would work. And it didn't. As of recording this, it's still broken. But you know what? I might fix it later. However, uh, for now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna build the string factory. I'll probably finish the iron farm off camera. Yeah, uh, sorry. Alright, next day, so, uh, yeah. I'm not, I don't think I should really show that crappy iron farm footage. This thing is so goddamn half-assed. It, it, don't, it don't work. You don't do shit, yo. So yeah, I think we're just gonna abandon the iron farm idea for, uh, for now. Instead, we're going to just build the string factory, as I feel like that's pretty much gonna be the most important thing anyway. So to get started, I want to use some uh, stone. We're just going to be making a shit ton of string dupers. And what better place to go for stone than the stone mine. Okay, I think that's enough stone for now. Either way, we're gonna be focusing on the in the insides first, so Okay. I'm gonna look at my plants to see where I need to place it. Then uh then yeah, we'll start building the actual dupers. Okay, I think we start right here. I'm also noticing that my never portal's in the way, so that's gonna get moved. Okay, where is my flint skill? Alright, well... Oh, there we go. Oh, uh... Hello, sir. Well, oh, it, it links up. Let's go. Okay, my tools are starting to get a bit low, so I'm gonna have to go repair them soon. Actually, should I, since I'm building this... I'm building an entire string factory here. I think I'll just fill these holes in with stone for now. I can change this later. For now, I'll light this up with torches, but later there's gonna be water here, which will move all the string to the collection system. So yeah, let's uh, let's continue building. Okay, I'm gonna have to move these potatoes over here real quick. Uh, I'll expand. I'll probably finish building a big ass farm behind my house later. And the beets as well. We start from here, I think. I'm gonna get a pretty big row of stone going. Bro, my keyboard's breaking. Okay, anyway. So what I'm going to be doing here is just using water as a collection system. This is pretty basic stuff, but you know what, 
It's advanced for me, let's put it like that. Some people might miss the uh, rough terrain and all, but honestly, I like the, the flat terrain. It makes making cool builds easier. And if I want rough terrain, then I'll make rough terrain, you know? As for where to build the next uh, row of uh, I think right here would be good. I'll probably make a proper place for that villager eventually. Actually, speaking of villagers, apparently, 1.20.2 is going to fuck up villager trading entirely. Because, for some reason, their villager trades are being changed. So that way, now the librarian's trades will vary depending where you are. That's fucking stupid. I don't like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get all the advantage. Enchantments at some point. But that sounds really hard, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna do that later. Okay, we got all the stone in, and that actually used up a perfect snack, so that's actually really nice. Now, to get all these dupers actually working, we need to actually switch to vanilla Minecraft. So that basically means no tree cutting mod, and uh, no mini map. But you know what? Th that that's fine, we can live without those. So yeah, let's switch. So I wasn't really planning on building, on recording the whole building process, which is why I wasn't recording. But uh... Yeah, as you can see, but while I was um building the uh, string factory, this dude showed up. I was hoping he would have the wood I wanted, but no. It's just more jungle. <sighs> okay, so uh, I wasn't really planning on recording right now, but you know what? School got canceled because of a big ass storm. There's debris on the roads and shit. So yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I'm now back on vanilla Minecraft. That means I know a tree cutting mod or a mini map. I mean, I, mods are still gonna work when I turn Forge back on. I still know the alternate villages over there. But still. Anyway, the next thing I need to really do is just. I think I just need to prime up all of these. Hi, Editor Fulton here. Just wanted to say that none of this redstone you're seeing here actually worked. So yeah, all the dupers I turn on manually. Probably not the best system, but I don't really care. So yeah, all this redstone you're seeing here, it doesn't matter. What? Why isn't it working? Yeah, well that time I'm just dumb. Oh! It's working! We have an entire row of these things working, so that's nice. Let's see here. Ah, it's getting caught in the edge here. 
There's already dozens of string. I have not even been running it that long. I think maybe a second story could look cool for, like, decoration and just make the building look taller. But, like, that's kind of it. I don't think you need much more. Yeah, I'm starting to get kind of glad I decided against doing 18 dupers total because, well, uh, you can probably see the frame drops I'm starting to get from now 8. Oh my god, that was a big lag spike there, and I was just jumping. See, I think this will be the last one. Yep, just let all that funnel in. I'm not gonna lie, these uh, dirt walls mixed with uh, this stone one here is kind of pissing me off, so I might fix that. I realized that the recording probably didn't get any of that, but uh, what I did essentially was I got all the dupers working. Iron from that guy. I got all the dupers working, so that's good. And I can turn them on and off successfully now. First of all, I'm going to turn off all of these. Wait. Is this one just not duping? Oh, wait. It's not working. I can't turn it back on because I'm not on a vanilla. Whatever, I'll fix it later. But yeah, let me just stash away a ton of deep slate. I'm going to stash away some of this. Now, we're going to just go and bury the beacon. Just because this will actually be more efficient, it'll make it so I have beacon powers from the sky limit all the way down to, uh, to bedrock. Cannot get a stronghold on my world. Like, I tried finding one, just couldn't. Oh. Oh. Go, go, go. Now let's actually get the uh, beacon in place. And again, we're just gonna go phase two. So let's actually get all the uh, string from the string dupers. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I needed to run these that long more anyway. Hey, Editor Volton here. I decided to, uh, in game, I decided to finish expanding the farm and actually get all the potatoes and beets planted because I was about to begin building the actual facade for the string factory. And uh, that, that kind of took a while. Stone bricks are really basic and are literally the most used building block in all of fucking Minecraft. But you know what? I don't really care. Like, Honestly, I don't care. Anyway, we've now got this outer ring in place, and next involves more stone, but this time a different shade of it. So what, what we're going to do here is grab a shit ton of stone. See, the thing I'm going to do with this shit ton of stone is I'm going to grab some jungle wood, okay? And we're gonna go down to the basement again. Remove all the old fuel because this shit is more old than uh, than your grandma. I'm gonna put these in as half stacks, just so that way it'll actually be more efficient. But anyway, I got annoyed of uh, constantly having to place dirt to get up, so I placed some stairs. 
And anyway, I did get in a call earlier to show some friends how I get so much string. Because one of them wanted to know what I needed all this string for. And if you're wondering that too, viewer, the answer is money. Anyway, we're gonna leave these uh, these six machines are running. As you can see, a lot of string being produced. Very nice. I'm sorry, it's just so ins insanely satisfying to me. Just look at it. Just all that string. Just landing in the water before shuffling down into that one little spout. Come on. Restock. Pains. I'm gonna use the full blocks because I can. And also because on Superbot they're a massive flex. Anyway, while we uh, wait for villagers to uh, get themselves sorted, I want to explain something to you guys. So I do have an idea for what I want episode 4 to be. I also want to ask something else. Do you guys think it would be a good idea for me to downgrade my world to 1.19 temporarily so I can apply Neverite to everything? Now, I could do this, but there's a problem. My Never Hub has a few 1.20 things in it, like your bookshelves, a Neverite upgrade, and a, a Snow Armor Trim. Exploring Never is already hard enough by itself. Just because I actually can't really can't really fly around the Never that easily, so it's gonna be really difficult. And just Never exploration by itself could take up an entire episode on its own. Comment if you want to see that. You know what? I'm just not really sure if it's worth it. Because this time, I want to build the wall, the lower part of the walls, out of slabs. You may be wondering, Volton, why the fuck slabs? It's because, first of all, they actually have a slightly different feel when you use them in a the build. Y'all. To rename my pick, my Silk Touch pickaxe here to the Warden, it needs six. Oh my god. If you think that's bad, at one time it was asking me for 30 levels just to add two pieces of iron to a normal unenchanted fucking iron sword. And this was on Bedrock. So don't play Bedrock unless you don't have much of a choice. Okay, we've got this labs going all the way around, but I might need more later, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. Okay, I just remembered that this uh, part of the building exists, so I should probably count this out as well. A few inches later. Okay, I finally finished all the walls. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go in there. After I show you guys what I've done, we're uh, we're gonna go into do the roof. And we'll do some special touches, touches around the area, and we'll call it a day. Because I've been focusing on episode 3 for uh, a while now. And you know what? I do have a pretty good idea for episode 4. It's one you've definitely seen before. But you know what? I like it. So we're going to do that. So as you can see, I I was actually... I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but... I intended on doing actually 18 dupers. 9 there and 9 on top. To give it height. But the thing is, like, with how high I had to place the dupers by themselves, and coupled with the fact that they are already four blocks tall, I realized that it would probably just make more sense to just continue building up that normal facade all the way up. 
And when I'm actually, like, standing around, it kind of takes up pretty much the rest of the space, so... There's basically no need to actually get any, like, fake rooms or whatever. It's pretty much perfect. See how there I used, uh, this polish, uh, polish basalt? Yeah, I nearly died for this stuff. I nearly dove off another cliff. And the thing is, like, that would have been really bad, because there was fucking lava at the bottom. Hey, the roof is my most dreaded part of, uh, of any build. Miles would know what I'm talking about. I don't really know where the rest of my stuff went, but I'll probably find it later and start smashing my face against my desk. Okay, what else is... Uh... Ah! Oh yeah, here's the old duper. I did not destroy it, it's still here actually. It still works actually. Stairs are in. Let's just start placing out a shit ton of slabs. Yeah, because I want the roof to be spawn proof, but also out of full blocks, I think I'm gonna have to go and buy a shit ton of glowstone from the clerics. The thing is, I've only leveled up one cleric. And glowstone would be expensive. And I'm out of deep sleep. You know what? Finding deep sleep becomes ten times more bearable when you have a fucking beacon. Uh, hey. So, uh, I wasn't really planning on recording right now. I was planning on just finishing up on getting all my, all the resources I would need to finish the roof of the factory. And when, then when I came out, I noticed, oh, it's dark out. There's a lot of mobs. I should go back inside. And then when I, when, on the next day, which is now, I look over here and I'm like, oh, that's a lot of creeper explosions. Hopefully uh, no mobs got in. You can't see it here, but there's actually exposed air right there. Which allowed for uh, basically uh, all these holes here. These were created by creepers. That's a really big fucking hole. Was there a charged creeper or something? Like seriously. Oh god, this is exposed too. Yeah, y'all, this is bad. This is actually bad. Like y'all may, may be thinking. Oh, a uh, Volton, this is a good thing. Now you can get super good deals. Ow. Oh, oh god, I do not trust that. I'm locking up. Uh, no, this is really bad. I'm not that rich. I don't have that much fucking gold. Like, y'all, y'all. In fact, in, in episode 2, I used most of my gold. On a fucking decoration. In my never hub. Was it even worth it? No, probably not. Literally every single one of these guys down there are infected. I'm not rich. I mean, look at this. They're, they're all infected. I'm pretty sure some of them burned into sunlight as well. Oh, my entire industry is fucked. Hi, Editor Volton again, so, uh, yeah, after that, I went on this adventure through Never to try and find uh, all the resources I would need to actually get some of these guys cured. Uh, I'm just gonna say now, uh, after I'm done, since I'm done recording episode 3 now, I'm just gonna say it, I do not intend on curing any of them. Though, although the search did lead me to find Never Fortress with, what, eight diamonds in it, which means I can do my Neverite upgrade now. Yeah, I'm still not gonna heal any of these guys. I left two of them that, so I could heal them, but... Honestly, I think it would just be easier to steal some villagers from the alternate village. Like, literally. I think that would genuinely be easier. So yeah. 
this... This was a big waste of time. Anyway, we need to uh, get some last minute uh, changes made to the uh, to the area. <laughs> First of all, I need a shit ton of trees. Yeah, I'm gonna replace the hedge around my house with uh, with a tree with saplings. By saplings, I mean leaves. Why that requires so much bone? Leaves? You know what? Extra wood is also nice. Alright. Uh, outer hedge done. And now... Wait, do I have any cobblestone? Uh, I have a bit. I think it might be time to destroy this house here. Well, it's not really a house, it's pretty sure it was a horse stable or something. So now we're just gonna get kind of like just a really rough shaped path heading over to the, uh, to the string factory. So yeah, we're just gonna get this quick path in place. And now, after way too much time, I present to you the new villager breeder and the string factory. Well guys, thank you guys so much for watching, I still need to put my diamond helmet back on. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I have more Minecraft content in this world planned for the future. I don't really know what we're going to do next in this world, probably continuing with the base plans, but after that, who knows? Why is it raining? Anyway, until next time, my name is Volton, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.